Hello guys, and this is Naruto Parman, and yes, I finally got this working. Um, this this might be a new series I might be calling PC um, PC slash Mac Mac Let's Plays, which means I'm gonna be playing certain games from the web or the ones that I downloaded into into this Mac. And first off, we have Hotel Dash. Well, um, since school starts in about like a little bit more than a week. I might as well do some new series from whatever, <laughs> even though I have a bunch that I shouldn't be taking too much work on. Let me just put, and then we can start. Flo, I found the most brilliant way to expand my wedding business, because uh, I'm now also planning honeymoons. Congrats. Tony and Vicky are going to be so happy when they see uh, where I booked their honeymoon. Where are they going? Hawaii? Italy? Paris? Well, you know Tony's... Well, you know Tony. He wanted to stay near his pizzeria. So I booked them in, in at the Diner Town Suites. Ugh. Quinn, have you seen the Diner Town Suites lately? Not since I stayed there when I was a kid. I loved it. It's, uh, gone downhill. Flo, what am I gonna do? Tony and Vicky will be horrified, and I'll lose my travel booking business. Okay, don't panic. There, are, there are any other places? Are there any other places in town we can put them? What about the bo the bowling seas? Too much near shore. Shore. What would smell like mildew? Crown Estates? Close to our reservations. Dunwich House? No way. That place is haunted. What are we gonna do, Flo? Everywhere else is booked. I have an idea. How long until until the honeymoon? Ten days, I think. Um, maybe if we, maybe if we, and then we could. Quinn, with your style and my and my know-how, we can transform this stuff into a dream getaway in ten days. So this is the setup. Five places, including including a hidden. Hotel around here, so we're gonna go around like this. I have not seen the whole game yet. I've just played until this one Stark sweet But now we let's. I'm just gonna stop stop babbling and start playing. Well, here we are. This place is really kind of a rundown, but I bet we can turn it around. All we need is a little hard work. And Tony and Vicky's honeymoon is gonna be a dream. It's basically like, um, welcome to Hotel Dash. Let's get started by helping our first center customers. See those hearts? They tell us how happy customers are. If they lose all our hearts, they'll, not, they'll get mad and leave. Click and drag these customers to the room to check in. It's basically like Diner Dash, but in the hotel store is twist. Great. Now that they're checked in, they want their luggage. You grab their bag and click on the room to bring it to them. So basically, it's like service. They got their luggage done. Now the customers are going to be rest of the day. Let's get in some time unwind. In the meantime, we got some new customers. Let's get them settled in the room. They're a bigger group, so they're a big group, so we'll need a large room. Basically, it does work like Diner Dash. If you played any of the Diner Dash games, you'd be um, you'd know what to do. Our first group of guests wants some room service. We'd better get down to the kitchen and pick up their order. Just click and grab it. You can change deliveries to get bonus points. Deliver room service to get a bonus. Remember, if you pick up the wrong thing, you can just drop it off here at the dish bin. Our customers are ready to check out. Let's go ahead and check them out the rooms. Click on both rooms. Great, now all you need to, to now we just need to take the dirty laundry down to the laundry room. Then we'll be able to assign more guests to the rooms. New guests, if we match their color, if we match their colors to the room color, we'll get a bonus. See, it really is kind of like Diner Dash. Awesome! We should bring in their luggage. And yes, I know speak my speaking patterns are horrible. We're off to an amazing start. 
Let's try a few more guests and get the hang of it. Try it on your own. I knew they would want their food. Now, it's a really easy game once you get the hang of it. But some kind, sometimes it could get really difficult. Like really difficult, real fast. Especially when you go further in the game. I Like there was too much I couldn't take on. But I'm going to try and see if I can... If I can take it on. Like, our last guess that they have left. Deliver all the laundry to the laundry room to the end of the day. Here's a tip. Picking up laundry doesn't break our core chains. Really? Really? I actually didn't know that. I just skipped that. <laughs> anyway, the first day is done. And we got the expert goal. Yay. If we have stars on our roofs, we'll collect star bills where people will stay there. I wonder what we can use them for. After you make some trash, it's time for upgrade a hotel. We're going to buy upgrades for our rooms today. Upgrading your rooms easy. Just click on my star. Then click on room rooms to get blah, blah. guests and star rooms. Leave a good tips and help you get star rooms. Now, if you want like bigger money and um bigger money and if you if you um gets like star bills, you have to put stars on every room. There are three stars maximum on each room, so you might want to upgrade them as fast as you can. But, um, you should manage to get some upgrades, too, so. I guess it's your choice. Guests in Star Rooms will be bigger tapes and help you stay Star Rooms. Alright, I'm gonna buy. Elevator upgrade. Crap. Okay, I guess I might as well upgrade the other. Aw, oh, man! What else? We can have anything else. Stylish carpeting. Sure, why not? Alright, level two. Now, after like after a certain point in Strike Suites in the third hotel, um, let me just tell you now, at that point it will be, it will be blind, so Now you gotta now here's a good tip for the game. You gotta know what's ahead. You gotta know what they want beforehand. So that you can get them faster and get more points and tips. You got a star bill. We can use these to upgrade our VIP rooms. I'll tell you about those later. Oops. Okay, last guest of the day. It's a really good tip that I'm giving you guys right now. If you play this game or any other Diner Dash games, you gotta know what's ahead. Well, actually, only in this game, actually. You gotta know what's ahead. So you can get ahead and, get fa and you can give them faster service so that they can leave earlier. Sometimes it gets boring, but with all the intensities in the in some of the levels, you'll get. Meh, I don't know what to say. Well, it's time to get started on the bridal suite. It's gotta be real special for Tony and Vicky. Tony and Vicky. We can furnish the bridal suite by spending star bills. We get star bills when customers use star rooms. This shows how many star bills we have. There's a bunch of neat stuff to get to the room. You can get to see what's available and how much it costs down here. Let's go ahead and just buy this. Buy this end table. Just click on it. 
nothing to it. If we can finish the room quickly, we get a special surprise. All right, so basically, each room, each hotel has a VIP room, and you, if you wanna get everything that's on here, that's on here. You have to get as many star bells as you can to spend all these. Now, it's all on your choice whether you want to complete it or not. The ice machine will keep guests cool even if they're steamed. It flashes when it's ready and we can grab some ice and deliver it to guests, guest rooms if they're getting impatient. There are a lot of upgrades. There are a lot of other upgrades. You can upgrade your ho hotel's floors, walls, and lobby. This makes your hotel nicer and keeps your guests happier for much longer. You can also upgrade flow, the elevator, or the elevators. This will make them both faster. Finally, you can give flow a card. This letter, this lets her carry extra objects. Now, what I do recommend is getting these, getting max on these star star rooms. But you, can, but you should also buy some upgrades too. So. What else can you do? I could do another room. But I guess I'll do this one. Just to get it over. Alright. Day 3 of Hotel 1. I'm gonna wait till another guest and then deliver the luggage. Just getting ahead. You know, once you play this game for a while, it gets pretty kind of boring. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Well, there's not really much to talk about since school is coming in a couple days. Which means for me, high school's here! Yay! Not really! Because I'm going to be taking some advanced courses. And I might not get as much time to make videos like these or in the in Xbox or whatever. Because I'll be too busy with homework and studying and tests and all that stuff. But I'll make sure to make some videos not every now and then in the current school year. I'll just be more busier than last school year. So expect that. Shoot. I need more Star Wars. Oh no. I hate these ones. Looks like a, con a convention of business women is in town. They're impatient and they're going to want to use the swimming pool. We need to remember to bring them towels when they ask for them. If they get mad, bring, bring them some ice to calm them down. I hate these women. They almost got me bankrupt. Well, not really bankrupt, but they almost made me lose. Like a lot of money, like a lot of opportunities for money. I mean, it's really frustrating to see that, um, like you're working so hard and then these business women ruin it because they want things fast. Oi. Anyway, <laughs> enough of my ranting. Alright. I'm gonna wait till two more guests arrive. One more guest. One more. I guess I'll sacrifice on the rooms. Another sacrificial sacrifice.
Now, for this specific um guest, the businesswoman, as I heard me say, she'll need towels. Some t some customers will ask her for the towels. Grab them here next to the pillows. Now, some guests will require stuff like towels or pillows or other stuff further on in the game. So you might want to get ready for that. See how easy it is when you know what what's going to be ahead? Just going to get some towels. Oh boy. The last guests of the day. Crap. Oh my god. I'm trying to get a high score by getting this woman to leave. But she's taking a long time. I'm gonna need some ice. I know, I know. Oh, she better not take it. Thank you. I'm just gonna give her some ice. And she's gonna get happier. Here you go, ladies. Oops, I did not mean to take three. Oopsies. Now when it gets to, when I'm done with level five, I'll stop there. Right now we're at level four, so. It's basically back and forth between um the between the VIP rooms and then um the other guests and all that. But you should be just fine if you know what you're doing. Yes, I love these things, the gift baskets. They help me out a lot. We just got guest gift baskets gift baskets today. Yeah. God. I cannot speak in any of my videos. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> we just got gift baskets in today. Click on a basket and then on an empty room to deliver. When guests check in, they'll find a delightful surprise. We can't forget the honeymoon suite is in tip top shape. New rooms. Oh, crap. Alright, I want to upgrade Flo's car. What else? What else do I want to upgrade? I'm gonna upgrade the ice machine. I'm gonna get two more stars for these rooms. There you go. I'm ready. Now these baskets help you out a lot because they they'll help you get more tips and more hearts if your guests are frustrated in the line. Oh no, not this character. Oops, someone has powered off the electricity. Click on the switch for Quinn to, to turn it back on before guests get angry. Now basically, this person arrives and ruins something. So you might, you should click on this icon right here, right here, for Quinn to fix it before you're Guests get angry. I am so sorry about that, ladies. I'm getting two towels. Yep. Come on. 
Uh, more guests. Crap. Hurry up, girls. You don't have all day. Because I want to get as much cash as possible. Another tip. Get as much cash as, cash as possible. Which means get tons of upgrades. Tons of chains. And tons of, um... I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Just make sure you can get tons of money. Oh, come on! Fine, I guess you can have that now. Stop! Too many! Now, if you get stressed a lot, like I do sometimes, you might want to be aware of the... Now, darn it! Oh, crap. I did not mean to do that! Aw oh, man! Now, be careful of making mistakes, otherwise you're screwed. So, yeah. <laughs> Be careful of making mistakes, or you'll screw yourself over. Trust me. Don't screw yourself over. The bed's there. And the sofa's there. Now we just need these four items. Alright, I guess I'll stop here for now. So see you guys in the next part of Photo Dash Sweet Success. Bye.